teachers, staff, students, community members, and Director Riverall. My name is Brian Diaz. And my name is Nancy Nunez. And welcome to our Senior Talk. We'll first start off with a couple of questions. Have you ever been in class and wanted to participate, but you were too shy to? Or have you ever wanted to tell someone an idea you had, but you didn't know how to express yourself? We would like for the audience to participate in an activity. If the audience may please raise your hands if you have ever been in these situations. Okay, let's begin with the students of GPA. Imagine you are in class, and the teacher decides to do an activity, like a minute to win it, or picture it. The teacher then asks for the students to participate. You want to? We're too scared. Now you wish you were more confident. And for the adults, imagine you're in a meeting and your boss caught all of you in the stress of ideas you have. You have an idea, but you but you too shy to say it, so you stay quiet. Imagine you are at a school dance. You're sitting down by yourself while your friends are having fun with you. Your friends urge you to join, and you really do want to dance, but you're afraid to get out of your comfort zone. Ooh, ooh, I got one. Imagine you're a jack in a box and you order some fries. Mm. Better yet, curly fries. <laughs> and you forget to get ketchup. So you ask your friend, can she ask the cashier for you? But this friend puts you on the spot by telling the cashier that you have something to tell them. I agree with that. I wasn't the one doing You're going off topic. We'll work on that later. All right, we'll be back here working on our lines. Okay, everyone, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> okay, Brian, I think it's our turn. I agree with you on that one. <clears throat> <laughs> Teacher, have you ever noticed your students looking focused in class? I wish I was in Chris's video game club right now. Do they give up easily on assignments? Teacher, can I this question? How do you like the bugs, son? Or have you noticed that their presentations are awkward and lack of smiling? So, um, you multiply, then add? This is me. Or have you realized that their group work is just one person doing all the work, and they don't like to receive constructive criticism? What do you mean my presentation was boring? I did all the work! Well, we got a product for you. Good morning, teachers, students, staff, community members, and director of RAW. My name is Nancy Miramontes, the real one. And I'm Brian Mirdias, the real one. <laughs> and welcome to our senior talk. <laughs> we'll first like to start off with the video, showing you what we have been doing for the past 25 weeks. Please enjoy. Research shows that performing arts is closely linked to almost everything we as a nation say want for our children and demand from our schools. Academic achievement, social and emotional development, civic engagement, and equitable opportunities. Unfortunately, not all schools offer performing arts. But what can we do? What can the community do to help solve this problem? Please watch the rest of this video, as well as our senior talk to help inform you exactly what my partner and I have been doing for the past 25 weeks. Our service group project consisted of students actively participating in our after-school encore drama club. We recruited a small group of middle school students and alongside our teacher lead, Ms. Jones, we incorporated a variety of activities that would help our performers succeed in becoming less afraid of their audience and more confident in themselves and their capabilities. With activities such as character building, improv, script reading, acting, and even one-on-one -on -one instruction during academic hour, every one of our students excelled in displaying willingness and self-improvement and other aspects of skill-based growth. Our drama club, named Spotlight Dreamer, was even able to meet their spring intercession hours. Here are some interviews from our dreamer. Oh my gosh, Spotlight Dreamers was the most amazing time 
that I've had this year, uh, especially working with Nancy and Brian, the middle school students, seeing them in a different capacity than I do in a classroom setting. I also learned for myself that even though I am a teacher, coming out of my comfort zone and presenting outside of my content area was an area of growth and I truly enjoyed the experience. I didn't want to do it. I don't regret doing it. 
I know this because almost everyone in the senior class told me they enjoyed the little show. Hearing the crowd clap and cheer for the main actors changed something to me. In those moments, I knew why I felt the way I did. I came to the realization that I didn't want to be a cheer. I wanted to be more than a wood trunk. I wanted to perform. And with only two weeks before the performance, a miracle happened. Dorothy broke her leg. <laughs> Because of these two reasons, I learned that performing arts not only helps you helps you express yourself, but it helps you with school academics too. Sadly, my perseverance for the spotlight didn't shine through. I allowed the fear of public speaking and the fear of not being good enough influence my decision. I let my confidence break, just like Dorothy's life. I didn't take the opportunity, and I regretted it ever since. But thankfully, many years later, I was given another chance, the class of 2016. Their love for GPA and compassion for, for performing made me love the arts once again. Thank you. <clears throat> the high school lip sync show, oh, the uh, lip sync show during lunch also inspired us to join the high school lip-sync show, which further bolstered our desire to help middle schoolers out of their shells. With like, my experiences, I was inspired. And my partner, Ryan, is too. Together, we came up with a game plan. A plan that would open more doors. A plan that would teach the younger class confidence, self-expression, empathy, compassion, and perseverance. And a plan that would dismiss the fear of public speaking and open the more doors to the younger class we created the Spotlight Dreamers. The Spotlight Dreamers Club inspired our students like Miley Terrell to overcome their fear of presenting on the stage. I know this because I remember the first day we had drama club. Miley Summers was a very shy girl. She didn't really talk much, and when it came time for her to participate in an activity, she spoke very quietly. So quiet, in fact, that we often had to have her repeat her sentences. However, after many weeks of working with her, her voice grew louder. Now, she has no open to the idea of being in front of class. As you can tell from her earlier performance, Miley Summers, as well as Jalen Baker, have both become confident spotlight dreamers. And for Terrell Jackson, a seventh grader who has been attending our club since the very beginning, his situation is much different. He's an outgoing student and willing to do anything in the Spotlight Dreamers Club. But what we didn't realize is that when it came to presenting in front of a class, he was not as outgoing. But he told us as our club went on, he was more comfortable with presenting. Not only did we help them become better students, but we also helped them become more comfortable on stage and with presenting in front of class. This allows them to be more confident in job interviews and will prepare them for important presentations, such as acting in class. Our experience working with younger students helped us learn a lot of new things. We first learned the importance of managing our time when it came to adding the club to all of our responsibilities we already had. But we found out as we were able to manage our time efficiently, our stress level lowered. Next, we found out the importance of getting to know our middle school students in our club in order to be successful, because not all students learn at the same pace. As we learn more about our students, we we're able to teach them how to be comfortable with acting and presenting. But as they got better, we found ourselves improving as well. The real legacy of our service learning experience is the middle school students who have been inspired by the Spotlight Dreamers Club to take the stage and make GPA a school known for its performing arts. Those who are not confident on stage lack the most important quality of being good leaders, confidence. Right. Oh, confidence. <laughs> you need to believe that you can lead. We help make change in our community by creating more and better leaders. These leaders, in the long run, will therefore be presented with great opportunities within our community and will create even greater opportunities to our community. We hope that each and every one of you will find a student in your life to get involved in the performing arts, either through financial contribution, volunteering as an audience member, or simply just encouraging the student to get on stage. Please watch our video showing you exactly how fun being involved in the performing arts can be. Please enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.